Shall warm when the star of souls by giving no praise to Yahweh, Ba Shem Yahweh Shah, Ba Shem Ka Kadash, double honors the apostle of great most and honors to brothers doing a work the most on truth and in sincerity. Yahweh's real name with whom the Lord ignorantly calls God Jehovah Yahweh, his real name is Yahweh, the son's true name is Yahweh Shai, and when we pray, pray Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, but meaning in, uh, meaning then Shem, meaning names Yahweh, and the name of Yahweh Shai. Uh, real quick, this is uh, inspired. But this uh, post that I saw, right, so it's from Disclosed TV, it says a new 90% of Germans uh, still believed in, in, in God in 1949, right, so 90%, right, today that number is 50% and only 20% understand God in the biblical sense, according to a new study, right, you know, made me think of, you know, just, just you know, godlessness. And one of the uh, top, uh, one of the responses to this was you know explains the degeneracy right of uh, of this current world right and, and and that's it right the lack of fear of the most high and here it is it said 20 percent understand uh, you know god in the biblical sense but unless they're you know it's referring to the archaeum that's in germany right then really none of these people understand uh, the most high in the biblical sense right you know the most high is uh, you know, as a man of war, right? The Most High killeth and he maketh alive, right? And the Most High is merciful, right? To the children of Israel, <laughs> right? But I mean, I mean, even, you know, this whole concept of hell, right? Where that would make the Most High unmerciful, right? Even that doesn't exist, right? So when it comes to actually believing in the Most High um, in, 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 in in the scriptural sense, that's but a, but, a, but, a, but, a, but a very small number, okay? But it is true, right? This is why you see godlessness in in, 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 in in the world as it is today, right? Because he the Lord has basically let this devil right run rampant upon this earth. Right. And then guess what darkness has filled this earth? This is Isaiah sixty and one. It says Arise shine for thy light has come, uh, and the glory of your house risen upon thee. For behold the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. So these people are in gross darkness, right? And you know, you see you know you see what happens in this world, right? And this world is just full of darkness, right? It says, but Yahweh shall uh, rise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee, right? So we'll grab this uh, as a starting point, right? Psalms 14 and 1, the fool had said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none slucky that doeth good, right? So the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. And that is very much an Edomite, uh, you know, uh, thing to push in the world okay you know you go to you know so see say like the the, the islands or you know the, in you know the west coast you're going to have a large majority of people that believe in in the most high but when you've got this edomite rulership what's one of the things he pushes he pushes the idea of you know basically that man is is is, is the number one right you know because um he wants to make people depart from their maker. He wants people to just do whatever it is that they want to do, right? Which leads to what? Which leads to death, okay? Um, this is, what have I got, right? And, and this is it, because Esau's Esau's the ruler of this world, right? So Sirach uh, 10 from the top says, a wise judge will instruct his people, right? And the government of a prudent man is well ordered as the judge of the people is himself. So his officers now, this, this man is, uh, the devil, <laughs> right? So of course, he's gonna push a world and push doctrines and um, ideologies that are contrary to the scriptures, contrary to the Most High, right? to make people depart from the Most High, so that you know they just do whatever it is that they want. Okay, and especially his aim is Israel. Okay, because the scripture says this. Um, this is uh, Revelation twelve and ten. Says, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our of our of our power, and the power of of, of Yahweh Shai. Right? For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before uh, our power day and night. So accuser of our brethren, what was what, this going into? It's going into the fact that Esau has the Lord but rather the Lord has basically uh, you know put a spirit in Esau to try and want to get his birthright back. And Esau thinks that by, you know, saying, you see, look, these Israelites, they're eating pork. Are oh, these Israelites, they're sodomites. Are oh, these Israelites, they're this, they're that, that the Mosai will do away with Israel. Right? But that has never been the plan. The Mosai would, wouldn't, you know, do away with Israel. Right? You know, because we're the Lord's chosen. 
So continuing on, um, so it says back in Surah 10 and 2, so as the judge of the people is, is as the judge of the people is himself, so as officers, what manner of uh, man, the ruler of the city is such are all they that dwell therein. So that's it. Esau basically gives this idea of, you, you know, Esau's a godless man, so he pushes the idea of godlessness on the people. Okay, this is Psalms 50, 16. It says, but unto the wicked the most I saith, what is thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, right? Seeing thou hatest instruction and casteth my words behind thee. So Esau hates instructions, right? He goes on to say in verse 19, you know, he frameth his mouth to do evil and, and, and deceit, right? He is a liar, okay? And he does everything that is contrary to the, to, to the scriptures, right? He opposeth, uh, you know, the most high, right? Um, and 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 uh, as the fact that he is the ruler of the world, guess what? That then seeps into the world, right? And you know, one of the things whenever I watch like foreign language Netflix, or you know, in different countries, you you see it. You're like, bro, like this man is pushing this uh, ideology throughout the world through his media, okay? You know, and you be just watching it, it's like, right, that's that's kind of unacceptable in this in this target audience. You know, but then that's that's how those seeds of 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 um, you know what it is like. It's like spiking someone's drink, which even that's a topic, right? That's what Esau does. He he, he spikes, uh, you know, these different you know people's drinks, which is why the scripture says, "Well unto them that giveth his neighbour drink," okay, that drink representing philosophies. So, uh, next one, right? Just as, on that on this same point, Sirach twenty nine sixteen, when the wicked are multiplied. Transgression increaseth, but the righteous shall see their fall. Right, and these Edomites say they 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 multiply in number and strength. Right, they you know the 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 Lord has given them the ability once again to 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 um you know push these ideas in the world, and as such is bringing forth nothing but death. Okay, because it pushes what it pushes it pushes this idea of self. It pushes this idea that you, there there is no consequence of of actions. Right, you see especially in these women. But we've got to be honest, you see it in these men as well, right? This is Proverbs 1 and 7, right? In contrast, right? It says, The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction, right? And even as I'm reading that, it also says, A fool has said in his heart, There is no God. Right? It's one and the same, right? Because if, if, if you believe in a God, right, then you go and have an understanding, you know, that, 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 that you need to be reproved. Right, and then this ultimately at the end of the day, it's it's, it's believe in the most high the right way, now, because when you look at these so called Christians, they don't they don't fear the most high, but they, that's why it says it. The fear of 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 Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, right? Now, do some of them get um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Get bewitched, right? And in, into you know Catholicism where there's like, oh, if I do this and I sin and I will burn in hell, and all of that, right? You know, so it's not only just and that's why we say the fear of Yahweh, not the fear of a God, or not the fear of, you know, Jesus, not the fear of Yahweh, because that carries weight. That 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 actually means something, right? Because when when we come into this truth, you know, we get the understanding that look, the Most High will kill you, right? So it says, um, yeah, the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction, right? And what else do they do? It says Sirach ten. Uh, and from 12 says beginning of pride right is when one departeth from the most high his heart is turned away from his maker right so when you don't fear the most high right you're turned away from the most high right you're turned away from the most high and you do whatever it is that you want to do right but that 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 there's a price for that right so as we again the beginning of pride is when one departeth from the most high and his heart is turned away which heart goes into the hebrew word love which means mind right and his, and his mind is turned away from his maker right for pride is the beginning of sin. We're going to get what what that results in, right? And he that hath it shall pour out abomination, right? And therefore the Lord uh, brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly, right? So uh, beginning of pride is sin, man. Okay, and this is what it says. Precept we brought out. Yes, is James one fourteen. But every man is tempted, right? Uh, when he is drawn away of his own lust, right? And it enticed. Okay, um, it says, and especially when you haven't got the fear of the most side, you leadeth to death. Right? It says, then when the lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. 
Okay, and we're coming into that great time of death. We'll close with this. It's Second Ezra fifteen from five. It says, "Behold, saith the Lord, I'll bring upon, I'll bring plagues upon the world: sword, famine, death, and destruction. Why? For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled." Okay, so whereas if you have faith, if you have faith and fear of the Most High, you do your best to to do right by the Most High, to do right by your how. And to be explicit, okay. Whereas the rest of the world is filled with what's filled with 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 wickedness, right? And and man, you be you know, I'll be speaking to people that know about certain parts of the world better than me, and they be telling me certain places where you think certain things are unacceptable, right? In the right circumstances, those things are acceptable, man, right? But that's that wine. That is the fact that you know, in the parts of the world, you ultimately you're dealing with heathens. Right, and whereas they may do in public, may do the whole, you know, I'm perfect shit. Excuse my French. Like they can, they, they can do that whole, yeah, I'm perfect, we're good. But at the end of the day, they're heathens. They're going to do what heathens do. And therefore, right, destruction is going to come for them. So as always, Lord's God is edifying. Until the next time we say, Shalom.